This is lesson 10 in module 3. In this, in this lesson, we're going to be multiplying 3 and 4 digit numbers by 1 digit numbers using the standard algorithm. Let's start with 5 times 2,374. And let's start by reviewing partial products. So we'll write the problem vertically. And starting with the ones, we have four ones five times would be 20 ones. Then we have seven tens five times. So that would be 350. Then we have three hundreds five times. That would be 15 hundreds. And then we have two thousands five times. That would be 10 thousands. So those would be all of our partial products. We'd add them together and get a total product of 11,870. Now seeing what that looks like in the standard algorithm, we'd again start with the ones. Four ones five times is 20 ones. But this time we're going to leave the digit in the ones place, which is zero. And the digit in the tens place, we're going to put into the tens column. Now we're going to multiply 5 times 7 tens would be 35 tens, plus 2 more tens would be 37 tens. So we'll leave the 7 tens here and put the 3 hundreds in the hundreds column. Now we have 3 hundreds times 5 would be 15 hundreds plus 3 would be 18 hundreds. We'll leave the 8 hundreds here and the 1,000 in the thousands column. Then we have 2 thousands, 5 times would be 10 thousands, plus 1 more would be 11,000. So we have the same product for both of them. We're doing the same thing. We're just recording this in a single step when we do standard algorithm as opposed to recording each of the partial products separately. Let's look at another one. Let's look at 6 times 3,817. We'll write it vertically. Starting with the ones, 7, ten, seven ones, 6 times would be 42. So we'll leave the 2 here and put the 4 tens in the tens column. 1 tens, 6 times would be 6 tens plus 4 would be 10 tens, which is 100. 8 hundreds, 6 times would be 48 hundreds plus 1 more would be 49. So we'll leave the 9 hundreds here and put the 4 thousands in the thousands column. 3 thousands, 6 times would be 18 thousands, plus 4 more would be 22 thousand. So that would be our total product. Let's see how we'd use this to solve a word problem. Let's say there are 5,280 feet in a mile. and Brian ran four miles. And we want to know how many feet did he run. So if one mile is 5,280, to find the total number of feet that Brian ran, we can show in our tape diagram, we're trying to find a total and he ran four miles. We know that one mile is 5,280. So if we're going to do it four times, we would need to multiply by four. Zero times four is zero. Eight tens times four would be 32 tens. Two hundreds times four would be eight hundreds plus 3 would be 11 hundreds. 5 thousands times 4 would be 20, plus 1 more would be 21. 
So Brian ran 21,120 feet. All right, let's try what we've learned with our uh, problem set. So this says to solve using the standard algorithm. Pause the video and try the first one. 42 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 4 tens times 3 would be 12, so our product would be 126. Try, number, try letter B. Now we do 42 times 6. 2 ones, 6 times would be 12. 4 tens, 6 times would be 24, plus 1 would be 25. And look at the relationship between this product and this product. Here we multiplied three times, here we multiplied six times, and we see if we add these two products together two times, we get this. So multiplying by three twice is the same as multiplying by six one time. Try C. 431 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 3 tens times 6 is 18 tens. 4 hundreds times 6 would be 24 hundreds plus 1 more would be 25. And let's try D. Pause the video. This one. 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9 tens, <coughs> 4 hundreds times 3 would be 12 hundreds, and we see here we multiplied by the same number by 6 and here by 3, so again if we doubled this it should be the same as we got when we multiplied by 6. And it is. Let's try E. 6,212 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 times 3 is 18. So we have 18,636. Try F. Okay, so we have 3,106 times 3. So 6 1 times 3 would be 18 ones. 0 times 3 is 0 tens plus 1 ten is 1. 100 times 3 is 3 hundreds. And three thousandths times three is nine hundreds, nine thousandths. So nine thousand three hundred eighteen. Pause the video and try G. Four thousand three hundred and nine times four. Starting with the ones. Nine ones times four would be thirty six ones. Zero tens times four would be zero tens plus three would be three tens. Three hundreds times four would be twelve hundreds. Four thousands times four would be sixteen thousands plus one more is seventeen thousand. So that would give us a product of seventeen thousand two hundred and thirty six. Pause the video and try H. Eight thousand six hundred eighteen times four. Starting with the ones, eight ones four times would be 32 ones. One ten four times would be four tens plus three would be seven tens. Six hundreds four times would be 24 hundreds. Eight thousands four times would be 32 thousands plus two more would be 34 thousand. So we have a product of 34 thousand four hundred and seventy two. 
R read problem number two. Draw a tape diagram to represent the problem. <coughs> then write your equation, solve the problem, and answer the question. Okay, there are 365 days in a year. How many days are there in three common years? So we're looking at three years. We want to know what the total of days is in three years. We know that one year is 365. So if we want to know what three years is, we're going to take 365 and we're going to multiply it by three. Five ones times three is 15 ones. Six tens times three is 18 tens plus one more is 19 tens. Three hundreds times three is nine hundreds plus one is uh, ten. So in three common years, there are 1,095 days. Okay, for number three, do the same thing. Read the problem, draw a model, then an equation to solve the problem, and write your answer. Okay. This says that the length of one side of a square city block is 462 meters. We know if it's a square, all the sides are the same. So to get the perimeter, which is the distance around the outside edge, we would take one side and multiply it by four, since there's four sides and we know they're all equal length. Two ones times four is eight. Six tens times four is 24 tens. Four hundreds times four would be 16 hundreds plus two more is 18 hundreds. So the perimeter of the block is 1,848 meters. Okay, read number four to yourself. Draw a diagram to show the problem. Write an equation to solve it and answer the question. Okay, so we know Jake ran Jake ran two miles and we know that there's 5,280 feet in one of those miles. We know that Jesse ran this much four times. And we want to know how many feet Jesse ran. <coughs> so we could figure out what Jake ran and then multiply it by four. Or since we know each of these is actually two miles, we could also see that Jesse ran eight miles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jake ran two, so eight is four times as long as two miles. So then we could solve the problem by how many feet are in a mile. And Jesse ran eight of them. So what zero times eight is zero. Eight tens times eight is 64 tens. Two hundreds times eight is sixteen hundreds plus six more is twenty two hundreds. 
five thousands, eight times is forty thousand plus two is forty two thousand. So Jesse ran forty two thousand two hundred and forty feet. And that concludes lesson ten.